Welcome to Great Lakes Gunpla. This will be part one. This will be an unboxing and frame first impressions of the BSC 135th Unicorn Bust. Okay, this will be part one. This is the unboxing and frames and first impression. Quick spin of the box art before we break it in, break into it. I just got this today, so I have not even opened this kit yet. So here we go. Right on top we have our gold pieces, two white frames, the kit does come with aluminum boosters, tubes, and some other parts that I'm not quite sure what they're for. The LED kit looks like it uses two AAA batteries. Um, all the bulbs are loose in the kit, so you do have to put all that together. Not quite sure how that's going to work. Then we have clean, clear, and green parts. Two more frames of white parts. More white parts. Psycho frame. Looks like four pink frames of psycho frame parts. Blue and gray for the backpack and the neck and inner parts. Plastic thrusters and tubes. More backpack. And other pieces. Two black frames. Small parts frames. Two more black inner frame pieces and some dark gray joints of some kind, the instruction manual, full color, this is my first time looking through it as well. and water slide decals. Same blue paper that Bandai kits are on. And that's it for what's in the box. Let me take a break, open the bags from the frames, and then we will give some frame first impressions. And we are back, all the frames are unbagged. Just looking at pieces, looking to see the injection molding quality, any uh-ohs, boo-boos. A few pieces did fall off the frames and shipping, mostly psycho frame parts. One that does concern me is I am missing the second of this cylinder piece that goes on the base. Uh, we'll find out how their customer service is. That's a fairly large piece. Ultimately, I could silicone cast it and make another one if I had to, but I don't want to do that. Um, one thing to note on the gold pieces, the gold is sprayed on. It's not gold plastic or the nice Bandai finish that Bandai, or the nice gold finish that Bandai uses. And if you look, there are some boo-boos in the finish, like through here and here and especially here. If it won't focus that close, I will roll in a picture. And there's going to be some cleanup on the back side of the V-Fin. There's some vent holes along here, but that's not too bad. The smaller gold pieces 
The finish on them is fine. It's just the front of the V-fin where you have the long, flat sections. Luckily, I'm going to paint the kit, so that's not an issue. Looking mainly at the broad pieces to see if there's any low spots or high spots or areas where the plastic didn't fill in smooth. Uh, so far, they all look really good. I looked at a few while I was unbagging them just to see. There also seems to be two different shades of white. There's a bright white and a ultra light gray. But looking at the pieces, like I said, they all look they all look clean. With the injection quality, I am impressed. We have a big, large, broad piece here for the base. Even that, you just have a few little lines wavy lines for the molding, but they're all perfectly flat. You can't feel any of it. Large piece on the backpack plate. Might be one or two little low spots, but honestly, I think when, if, even if you don't paint it and you just flat coat it, I think that slight shine difference will disappear. But it's certainly not noticeable like on some other third-party kits. Now there are, there is a lot of subframe to this. You've got two, three, five dark grays, four medium grays, three blacks just for the subframe on the frames. Lots of little pieces. But I honestly don't think the kit will be too bad. The most intimidating part is the LED having to actually build the lights. I don't have a black light to see how reactive these are with black lights. The uh, psycho frame parts do seem to be a little less flexible. I think that's why they broke off of the frames and shipping. But they do have a nice pink tint. I don't know if you can catch it when the light catches it from the side. They do have a nice glow. Here you can see three of the four gates broke. On this one also, four of the five broke. This large piece is sitting over yonder. But all in all, I am impressed with the injection molding quality. Like I said, the one only boo-boo I see is... I shouldn't say boo-boo. It's, it's an oops, the fact that there's a missing part right here. For this the, the match to this large cylinder so unfortunately it's Chinese New Year so I won't get an answer for probably another week and a half to see what to do about it but in the meantime I'm going to get this kit snapped up do part two and then tear it all apart paint it up do a final building and give my final thoughts Thanks very much. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Leave a comment below. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down and leave a comment below telling me why. Thanks very much, and thanks for watching.